The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. And we are here once again, New Expressions, Friday morning. It was feels like we were just here yesterday. Feels like that, but we went. Well, instead. Yeah, well. <laughs> we were other places yesterday. Maybe it's my coffee. And thank you very much for bringing that in, sir. I do appreciate you every week when you bring me in the coffee. You Praise are, God. And you are an inspiring individual. With my coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> every every Friday morning you tune in to Rima 94.9, you're going to hear the new Expressions program, which is really geared <laughs> at, uh, at you know, bringing in pastors and leaders across the coast uh, just to brag on uh, for an hour on what Jesus is up to in our midst. Um, you know, we have the great privilege of connecting with several or many, many different senior leaders um you know most expressions actually of the body of christ over the last couple of years we have and uh in the studio with us today is no no stranger to our program great fathering leader in the region of the central coast pastor phil oldfield from c3 Tucker right. church release the balloons good morning good morning <laughs> the balloons have been released good morning evan good morning craig well for phil we have one big giant balloon <laughs> <laughs> we just released that that's, that's it right. yeah, release yes. the giant balloon yes <laughs> that red balloon you remember that uh, yeah, french uh, that's right. movie yes that's right. floating that yes. left yeah. such an impression upon me <laughs> yeah uh, going back into the, the 60s of course and that movie was just anyway we're talking about someone uh, something that probably no one's ever seen no 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 i Classic. think it's a thing is it yeah oh, it's come it's back a thing. no really it's a big thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's like it's a symbol in the justice movement as well now oh, truly a, yeah really so so it's not no oh, not, okay um, unfamiliar to people. every time i mention it no one knows about it oh, so but well. i think it's yeah it's yeah. it's had had a revival has that's it? it that's <laughs> it it's back it's back but uh, you know, grateful for your time this morning. Great, grateful to have you here in the the studio with us. Um, you know, to to just explore some kingdom stuff together. Uh, you know, we we have this great privilege of walking together as leaders, and uh, and you know, there are many many of the senior leaders on the church now where we're maturing to a place of just genuinely loving one another. You know, and, and abounding yeah. in love towards yeah. one another. Yeah. Figuring out as Dave Balestri encouraged us to do, to conspire for the success of each other. <laughs> Let's figure out how we can uh, ensure... Where did we get this other. saying, bro? I love it. You, yeah, it's you keep, Dave's. Yeah, is that Dave's? Dave's is yeah, it? Dave's, right, yeah. Dave to, dropped that nugget. We're going to have to give him royalties, are yeah. we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I use it more than he ever did. But <laughs> uh, yeah. Right about now, I'm like pretty it. sure he's Googling copyright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Copyright that's Australia, right. that's a good idea. That's something you can help yeah. him with, I think. You yeah. know? <laughs> Uh, I'm not. Don't worry, boss. I'm not trying to charge us any more money. <laughs> I'm sure he's listening. I won't do that. <laughs> deflect. Deflect. Now you speaking of Dave, he's back in the country. Just come back from the USA. Yes, I believe so. He's been on uh, apostolic prophetic assignment uh, That's right. in the states, I believe. So. Hope you see have a church uh, in L- L- LA. I yeah, believe. that's right. That's right. There was a conference there, so David landed there. I'm sure and got opportunity to minister to some of the more apostolic prophetic uh, gatherings and yeah. i'm sure it was a mutual blessing <laughs> yeah 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 no i had a coffee with him yesterday and uh, i got to hear the download of it all which is really really oh, exciting stuff and uh, of course he's jumping on a plane to go back there again in a week or two's time oh truly he's got another another um mm. gig over there in, quick turnaround so, in, yeah yeah Wow. Yeah, and Pastor Kim, a friend of ours, is uh, ministering over in WA, WA at the moment. Yeah. With his national conference. Yeah, the Victory Movement. Margaret Court, our yeah. great yeah. Grand Slam tennis champion. No That's one's it. beaten her record yet. Not yeah. even Serena Williams. So. But Ash Barty's probably got her in a sight. Ash Barty <laughs> is a great role model for Australia. Just, just <laughs> head down, plays with great... A great attitude, and we love her. Yeah, she's I can't great. believe I'm talking about tennis. <laughs> I love tennis. My, I know, and Phil does too. I love tennis. Yeah, yeah. Here we are oh, yes. I love tennis. Oh, yeah. Love tennis rapper. is the number one all season sport for basketball players. Did you know that? Is that right? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Eye, hand, coordination, speed, endurance, fitness. Same. It, yeah. Yes. Coach gave me. Two options, track or tennis. Oh, oh, I'm not messing with that oval. Yeah. We could forget that. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty good, so we'll have to get a game one day. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I'd yes. love to. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty, but I'll have to get that wooden racket back out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mine is somewhere in there. It's, I've got it. I'll just grab one of the kids. Come on, did uh, They you may have that? a graphite one, so I may look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. I grew up with the wooden tennis racket. You did know? you really? Yeah. Probably copped it around. Yo, the uh, I actually had a rod laver. A, a wooden rod labor racket. Is that right? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But isn't that funny? Prophetically, like 
Bjorn Borg tried to come back with yeah. a, an aluminium racket. I right. think it was. I, what, I don't think it was a wooden. Yeah. But he tried to come back. He tried, and Mats Willander did the same right. too. Right. They tried to come back with the same technology that they'd used in their heyday. Ah, wow. And they were found Just weighed, kind of, measured, and wanting. Yes. Yeah, right. And uh, it didn't work out. See, there, there's there's a there's an analogy in that. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. New wineskins. New, new wineskins, wine skins. exactly. Here we yeah. go. Speaking we of new wineskins, you were sharing with me, uh, I think we started our coffee about half an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're still into it. That's what happens when you buy a bucket for a cup of coffee. <laughs> but um, you you were talking to me off air about uh, a really yeah. significant season that the that yeah. the world is in, really, isn't it? I think it really is, yeah. Craig. I, I think... We're really in this time of convergence. Uh, that, that's a word you'll hear through the prophetic uh, world. Yeah. And, I, and I'm starting to see it more and more. And I, I think I'd just like to tease out maybe some narrative to do with God's sacred calendar. And uh, we, in, ex in explaining why we think it, it's climaxing almost, converging, and yeah. we're coming... I believe into a prophetic timeline where things are getting a very hectic, good and bad. We got the Middle East um, scenario happening, and yep. with Israel being surrounded. Um, but we got the church on the rise. Uh, we're, we're declaring, as you say, more of the kingdom. Yeah, and yeah. The Bible does say the kingdom will be preached, yes. and then the end will come. Yeah doesn't say just the gospel uh not just the gospel but it, it's a more it's a bigger apostolic yes, message yeah. the kingdom message yeah it's more dramatic yeah it's more unsettling even yeah wow it could be even more uncomfortable yes uh, even a pastor may not want to preach uh, kingdom apostolically hmm. um, because people can be you know th their cages can be rattled that's it. They can be rubbed up the wrong way. We want to yeah. keep our people yeah. in church. Yeah. So uh, there's a there's a there is the, there's a tension there uh, with a pastor to want to be able to speak the truth, uh, mm. speak the truth emphatically. Mm. Yeah. Um, and but then he needs to be pastoral and and be careful. He's not freaking people out, mm, uh, yeah. giving hope, yeah. sense of hope. Uh, our hope is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Uh, he is the answer for all mankind's uh, problems. Absolutely. All right, let, let's just get that straight. He <coughs> is the <coughs> answer. And can I just yeah. declare that Jesus Christ, because we can get off on, on some of these on. narratives. Um, and I think uh, what I did to our church uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I said, you know, <laughs> what did you do to him? <laughs> well, it wasn't too dramatic, but I, and we had a lot of visitors, so it was good to be able to stand up at the at the start of the church yeah. and declare, "He is God. He is yes. eternal. He is a powerful. Jesus came to heal, yes. save, bless, mm. cancel sin, yeah. and darkness yes. from our life, and release us into the family of God." Now that, that's that's great news, Hallelujah. but how how is he going to do that? Yeah. Well, he satisfies us. John 6.35 mm. says, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread mm. of life. Yep. He who comes to me will never go hungry. Yeah. And he who believes in me will never be thirsty. That's right. How does he do That's it? Right. He offers light in our darkness. So yeah. many people living in darkness and, uh, mm. and, and they, they're lost. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're the blind leading the blind. John 8.12 says, mm. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Yeah. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, mm. but will have the light of life. How is he going to do it? He offers care. John ten eleven says, mm. I am the good shepherd. Yeah. Uh, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Amen. Uh, John ten eighteen says, no one takes it from me and I lay it down uh, of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up. That's right. This command I receive. No, no, no other guru, no, no other hmm. uh, God, so-called yeah. uh, Lord can say that, that yeah. I lay my down, I take yeah. it back up. Yeah. Um, you know, but 
how's he going to do this? He promises security. John 10, 9, I am the gate. Mm. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come Amen. in and go out and find pasture. John 10, 10. Mm. And this is still a great scripture to be reminded of mm. when you're doing life uh, and, and especially when you're doing a lot of TV and you're imbibing of a lot of nonsense, to be honest, yeah. uh, that is readily available yeah. on a widescreen, high-definition TV, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can get stuck in this... Mm. Va- the Bible calls it vain imaginations. Yeah. Uh, there's so much stuff, including yeah. on, uh, you know, like Netflix and people are binge-watching. Now you can actually, for a crink neck, yeah. uh, you can actually claim health insurance and... Uh, they're included what? that now in your health insurance. So, sorry, Craig, how did you get a sore neck? Uh, I, I watched. I was watching my favorite series for six hours, and, Are and you that serious? is now that you, is you now credible. Mm-hmm. That is now credible uh, claim to make on your health insurance. You for, started yeah. For, it started with the mobile phones. With the, with, with if, you, if you if you walk out, you, you walk into any mall, wow. or you walk in, on, on any bus or train, everybody's head is tilted down yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the neck is starting to get a bend in the back, right? Yeah. So yeah. What? So they're teaching you to sit properly and hold the phone mm-hmm. up. Act like this. And that's where it started. Now it's gone to the big thing. Yes. So John 10, yeah, 10 says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> He's a liar. I've come that up. But Jesus said in the next breath, I have come to give you life. Yeah. Life abundantly. Yeah, amen. Through the amen. word, through amen. the spirit, through the kingdom. Come on. And so that's powerful. So how is he going to do this, Jesus? Uh, he promises life after death. John eleven twenty five. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. Hallelujah. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And he is the way, of course. He is the only way. Mm. John 14, 6. John answered, I am Jesus answered. Mm. I am the way and the truth yes. and the life. Yeah. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah. So yeah. I read that to the church, and then we began to praise and worship Him, mm. and it was a powerful, a powerful time. I, I, I want to I wanna jump in there because that, that you just hit my. <laughs> you, you just hit my. Maybe testimony. I did the wrong. No, I did. No, I did the right thing. You but did. Yeah, yeah. You hit my testimony just then. Wow. My testimony is that I had a really comfy existence. I was enjoying a nice accommod- nice home, nice car, nice stuff. Yeah. And yep. uh and living the dream and my life revolved around that that square box. Right. <laughs> in in I I had to be watching the latest sports, right? So whether it was NRL or uh, rugby union or soccer or football, whatever it was, it was like, right. when's the next game? When's the next game? And then it was like, well, you know, just lapse into to sitcoms, right? Just yeah, yeah. mind-numbing kind yeah. of. And I remember my life became an accumulation of entertainment by sitcoms and or sports. So I'd get to sports right. games when I could. Right. But if you couldn't get there, then you'd be watching on telly. And it'd be like, set the clock, everything shifts, it's in the calendar, it's not missed this. It's yep. and, I, and I got to a point where that was the, the culmination of my life. It's mm. kind of what you were describing. Yep. And, I, and I went, oh, my God, my life is, is an inch deep. Yep. I was just profoundly hit by how utterly shallow my existence was. Yeah. And, I, and I actually was in a place of desperation, just cried out, oh, God, there's got to be more. And then you just announced this, you know, Jesus is the way, the yep. truth, and the yep. life, and the, the abundant life that he has for us when when so many of us settle for a life an inch deep, you know, yep, yep. settle for what can I get entertainment? Well, that is exactly the reason for the Jewish holiday. Yeah, right. Rosh Hashanah. Okay. It's the it's the shofar blast. Awake. Come on. Take Come stock on. of on. where you're at. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll just explain. For the, for <clears throat> oh, well, the, let me just finish because I want to say, yeah. glory to God, he rescued me out of oh. that utterly shallow existence. Well, we know that. Glory to God. You're absolutely <laughs> on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we, get, <laughs> <laughs> before we get lost in the next one, because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a, a deep one coming yeah, on here. Let's, 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 let's go to the song. Take and take then we're going to come back. I'm going to get there. Don't you worry. I had a point five minutes ago on conversions, but we're way past. 
Oh, I bet so. <laughs> Very cool. So, I'm not going to waste any time because I want to get right back in this because when we left off, we were starting to heat up here. and I had to break and get something in because I knew this was going to take some time. So, yeah. take it away, Sir Phil. Old Phil, please. Well, um, it, it is the most exciting time. If I, if I was to say a statement like this, um, God is accelerating his work among his people in these last days. Amen. And it is by no accident that we're alive at this epoch in history. Hmm. We were given to be a life-giving generation. We were chosen to be a life-giving generation with a life-changing and prophetic word to this world. I, I believe I got a prophetic word um, yeah. to help some people understand the season that they've come out of and the season that they're going into. So let me understand it by explaining this um, Jewish holy calendar, the God's sacred calendar. Um, I'll, I'll just try and paraphrase it because uh, there's, there's so much in this. The, ho the, the high holy days of course, are the most widely observed Jewish holidays, beginning with Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and ending 10 days later with Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. Now, we just, um, just for clarification, Rosh Hashanah was uh, started on the 29th of September, uh, it, and then the Days of Awe was for 10 days, which brought us into just Tuesday, just gone, for Yom Kippur, that, that is the Day of Atonement. Uh, during this time, Jews around the world examine their lives and seek forgiveness for the, for the coming year. So it, it's really about a wake-up call. You said, Craig, you received mm. a wake-up call. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, well, th this guy, I'm just reminded now. Um, okay, so it's a wake-up call, uh, Rosh Hashanah to 10 days of looking introspectfully at where this is for the Jewish people where you've what you've done that year that current year because remember we're going into a, a new year this is now a new year uh, this is a Jewish new year so we we're looking back at what we've done what what have we done with our life because God instituted man with the breath of life, what have we done with the breath mm. of life? Yeah, right. What have we done when he said, um, then, God, God, then God said, let us make man in our image and our likeness so that they may rule over the sea. What have we done with that dominion authority he's mm. given us? Yeah, right. What have we done with our environment, which is the people around us, our, you know, the mm. physicality of our, in, uh, our environment, then what have we done with the atmosphere? What have we done with the atmosphere around us? Uh, and, and then what have we done with, let me get this right, what have we done with our culture? What have we yeah, done right. with our culture well, well. in and around our life, in our home? Mm. You could, even your culture, in your home. Um, but in your in your in your in your street, in your city, in your region, yeah. what have you done? So, basically, God has given us authority to rule in our environment, atmosphere, and culture. So it's getting back to the original. Remember, this Rosh Hashanah is a celebration of the original birthing of man. It's it's a it's a it's a it's an anniversary of mankind being yeah. born. Yeah, right. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, man, we could get right into this. But Ben Hughes, he, he he's a he's a young man, a prophet in the nation. He says he had uh, an encounter during the night with with an angel, and the angel said to him something in 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 on these terms: "There's an awakening." The, the, he, and he mm. talked about an awakening to what? And he believes it's an awakening to the fear of God. He says, he, he, and he says, we need to, I think Billy Brim says this, we need to uh, respect the deity of God. We're being too casual with God. Mm. We're being too casual with God. Right. God is an awesome God. Do you know that word awesome? You're not supposed to use that mm. like 
your favorite ice cream this is yeah. awesome yeah that act that that word is actually a sacred word only attributable to god wow and billy brim says uh, uh, it's on uh, my it's my m- mission to stamp out that adjective yeah, wow. being used scandalously yeah. right. for any old thing yeah. Because awesome, oh God, you're so awesome, yes. God. Yeah. You, yes. you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. reigns from heaven above. He reigns yeah. from. So these these divine appointments called God's sacred calendar are moeds, certain times that God wants to have an appointment with us. It's like mm. going to the dentist. There's certain mm. times mm. that God has instituted by these by this sacred calendar that God wants to meet with man. Now if you look back there's the Passover, the the first fruits, Pentecost, all that's fulfilled. But the ones to be fulfilled in the second coming is is, is this uh the trumpets, the tabernacles, the day of atonement. The, and so these these festivals um these moeds, these appointed times, are becoming more acute because they represent the end of the church age and they represent the incoming kingdom but the fulfillment of Jesus coming, the second coming. So they're having more, it's, it's becoming more dramatic. 100,000 Jews just met at the Wailing Wall wow. celebrating Yon Kippur, mm, mm. Uh, meaning that you know, being being um, repentant and coming to the Lord with all their heart, their soul, their mind, their strength, and saying, yeah. "Lord, yeah. we want this new year to be so intentional. Mm. Lord, wow. forgive us for what we didn't get done and what we didn't do and mm-hmm. what we didn't say. Mm. And but, Lord, we want this day, this new." year this new year to be so intentional that that lord basically they're presenting themselves uh, heart soul and mind to Amen. the lord in preparation for the year to come for the new year yeah evan yeah and the new message the new awakening if you like now the, you mentioned yep. earlier this convergence because there's two calendars converging at the same time you got it uh, yeah you, you need yes. to speak to that yes, for a moment do that's 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 an, a peculiarity mm. in time. That's perhaps why there's such a uh, an acceleration. As there's well. a Gregorian calendar. There's a Gregorian calendar which we follow yeah. in the Western world, and and there's a Hebrew calendar. I've just been explaining some of the Hebrew calendar. The Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar, and the Hebrew calendar is a lunar calendar. Uh, Genesis 1.14 says, And God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Hebrews 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. You get that? So God speaks prophetically through the signs, including including uh, the, the sun and, and, and the moon. Um, and, and so even Jesus said that, uh, Luke 21, 25, uh, he, he, he says, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, the stars, on the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Roaring and tossing of the sea means the nations in uproar. When you see when you see roaring and tossing mm. of the sea, mm. that means I used to have this repetitive dream as a kid. It was like a sea of glass, yeah. and I remember thinking, "This is the most perfect feeling, mm. the most perfect moment." I'm just a young kid, yeah. maybe seven or eight. Mm. It was one mm. of the repetitive dreams I was having. Right. Then all of a sudden, this glass of sea'd get lumpy. It'd get lumpy, and, and it'll be like, "Oh no, not again!" And right. actually, I used to. Not fear, but I used to get anxious about having this dream because I knew, although I was, I was experiencing this euphoria of mm. this this tranquil, glassy sea, yeah. all of a sudden it'd get all lumpy, and it was so dismaying. It was so, 
uh, you know, it, it would even cause a young kid to feel, ah, oh, I just don't even want to have that yeah. dream. Yeah. As good as the sea of glass was, mm. I didn't like the anxiety mm. that that lumpy sea. Now, mm -hmm. wow. that's what Jesus is saying. The roaring yeah. and tossing of the sea yeah. is what the Syrian families are going through now right. with Turkey, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, yeah. invading yeah. Um, Syria. Yeah. Those, that's the lumpy. That's the, that's yeah. the turmoil. Yeah. And the anguish those people are going with. So I've got to get to what you were saying, uh, Eben, that because it is this Gregorian calendar and the Hebrew calendar seemingly is coming into agreement of the same message that both are saying. Uh, they're saying it's a year of transition. Um, let me just try and find some of this stuff Ooh, two calendars converging 5780 is the new he hebraic year 5780 mm -hmm. and 2020 so five in hebraic the 5780 is the hebraic year that's the year we're in now so we've come out of the 70s and we've come into the mm -hmm. 80s mm -hmm. and i'll explain i should explain what that means Billy Broom says uh, the years 2020 through to 2021 are years of transition. Amen. Five mm. means grace. Seven means manifest spirit. We know it. seven in the biblical yep, view right. means uh, perfectness, yes. perfect perfection, completion. completion. Yep. Yep. But manifest spirit, seven. Eight new beginnings. But it's not just eight, it's 80. So this, they believe, is uh -huh. a big prophetic decade it's a switch up from the 70s to the 80s. The 70s is a prophetic picture of the eye. Right. So we've seen things, but this is the decade of the 80s. A pro and the 80s means a pro prophetic picture of the mouth. <coughs> and I s mentioned the scripture, Psalms 34 verse 8, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes mm. refuge in him. So the new Hebraic year 5780 marks a transition from seeing to decreeing and commanding our future. There is a quickening of God's word coming to pass. Mm. It's the difference of seeing it and tasting it. Wow. The quickening is the quickening of the Holy Spirit. We previously were not alive to for our calling, our purpose or our life. But now the Holy Spirit quickens to you that purpose and calling, mm. even that assignment of your life. Um, 5780 and 2020, the convergence of these two calendars. Uh, the year 5780 is a year of quickening and redemption. It's a year of tasting what we have prophetically seen in the past. It's a year of heaven invading our earth through the word God has spoken and the declaration we make. The letter Pei is the 17th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, yep. having the numeric value of 80. It's a, it's a pictograph, guys. Uh -huh. For Pei looks something like that. Pei, P E Y, by the way. It's the 17th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Why are you going on about that? It's the numeric value of 80. Pei looks something when you look at it like a mouth right, wow. the the meaning of pay means mouth by extension word expression vocalization speech and breath so we're coming into a season of declaring not just seeing but declaring it speaking it psalm 81 verse 10 i am the lord your god who brought you up out of egypt open wide your mouth and i will fill it psalm 51 verse 12 let my passion for life be restored, tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit that obeys whatever you say. So basically, the 5780 Hebraic year mm. and the year 2020 these two calendars converging are basically giving us a prophetic heads up that God is about 
bringing us into a new dispensation of grace where we are going to come out of the frustrations even of some of some people have had a, a very frustrating start to the year uh, but I believe that there is opportunity right now through this prophetic time this prophetic uh, calendar to take stock of where you've been but what is ahead of you just like the Rosh Hashanah uh, the Jewish uh, people do because uh, basically you know it, it talks about being woken up but then it talks about we want we want the Lord to bless us we want the Lord to be upon us and to bless us in, and so that's why they repent that's why they you know Psalms 90 verse 12 teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Mm. You know, the greatest gift given to mankind is, is, is not just any old resource, but it's time. God's given us time, and so we need to understand to teach. Lord, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a wake-up call. Some people, you know, my alarm clock, you know, some people have a fight with their alarm clock and, you know, they didn't want to get up. And they wanted mm -hmm. to refuse. Things got escalated. They got awake, but their alarm clock was broken. Some people don't want to be awoken. Yeah, that's Some right. people don't yeah. want to be awoken prophetically. Yeah. They don't want to hear the drama. Mm -hmm. Again, we can have just the pastoral wow. um, interpretation of the gospel, mm. but there's a bigger drama uh, in place Amen. on the planet. Yes, it is. And that drama mm. involves you. Whether you put yourself in a place of comfort and uh, respectability mm. and, um, and, you know, minding your own business, friend, born-again believer, Christian, you are involved. You're on the epoch of history. Wow. We are born for such a time as this. Yeah. To be woken up yep. out of our slumber. Wake up, O sleeper, for the days of evil, it says in, in Ephesians mm. chapter 5. Mm. And, and redeem the time. Mm. It's time Amen. to be praying more. Yeah. It's time to be spending less time at the TV, not yeah. more yeah. time. Yeah. I, I think TV is one of the great, um, uh, you know... What is it? It's trying to distract us, derail mm. us. You know, mm. G Galatians says, you were running a good race. Mm. You were turning up mm. to prayer meetings. You were turning up to church every week. Uh, now people only turn up to church every month, yeah, every wow. fortnight, wow. Uh, when they feel like it. Right. Oh, it's raining. Oh, well, mm. we'll just stay at home and watch Netflix. Uh, mm. No, there's such a... Can I just say to the, to the listeners, there's such a great distraction out mm, there yeah. and it comes via a big wide TV set with yeah, so much yeah. nonsense vain yeah. imaginations yeah. strongholds even um, you know philosophies built up against yeah. the knowledge of God the Bible says mm, yeah. so look uh, for me Listen, I'm saying being careful of that stuff. And that it's stuff. not just that big flat screen wide thing what were you saying Evan about the most commonly viewed screen size in the world it's or whatever. 5.7 inch. The there thing you in go. your hand, the phone. Wow. It's a mobile yeah. phone, isn't it? Yeah, mobile phone. It's, it's exactly what he's saying, but yeah. it's actually even more prevalent. It's yeah. everyone's carrying this thing around with yeah. them everywhere. It's like yeah. a third hand. You know, it just operates independently of the other two. But what you're saying about people at home with the TV, it screams comfort. Exactly. So yeah. for me, this uh, calendar, this uh, mm. Hebraic calendar, yeah. allows us to be woken up in the tradition of the Jewish tradition because their New Year, what do they do? Well, hang on. In our New Year, mm. what do we do? We push back on reality. <laughs> People get drunk. They yeah, lose wow. themselves wow. to the to the excitement of a New Year. They sometimes get blind drunk. Mm. They get into a stupor, and they go, "Whoopee! What a great year that was! Here we come, New Year." They're yeah, blind. Right. right. They're, they're not, you know, they not have no sensibility mm. to go into the new year with an expectancy, yeah, with wow. a faith, with a hope. You know, the Bible says, Beloved, I know the plans I have for you. Mm. Not plans to get you blind drunk, 
not plans to harm you, mm. but plans to give you a future and yeah. a hope. Now, what yeah. do the Jewish people do? They do their Jewish New Year, the Rosh Hashanah New Year, by having a, a chauffeur blast. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come in from your busyness and 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 repent. Repent yeah. verbally repent with your with with all your heart mm. and take stock of what that year gave you and what yeah. you did with that year and now for 10 days of all look to that new year with with deep introspection of what you're going to do for the Lord because you have been given the breath of life. Hallelujah. What are you going to do with that? You're going yeah. to declare. Yeah. And, and this new decade is a decade of pay, means mouth. Hmm. This is the decade where we start declaring and decreeing. Come on, come on. Okay. Wow. And we're declaring and decreeing the kingdom of God come on the earth. Come on. Yeah, and, and, and the kingdom of God is a kingdom of light and it always displaces darkness. In fact, you mentioned to me that you knew of uh, many uh, evangelists and, and certainly even in your own experiences with the altar calls these days and people coming yep. into an encounter of Jesus and are actually in the same breath being delivered of their stories of darkness as well. And isn't it true, though, when we repent, we're actually exchanging, we're, we're ch changing from one story or yep. one direction as we traditionally had understood it, yep. heading in one direction, carrying one story. It may be shame, guilt, condemnation. It could be, you know, um, uh, all sorts of, of, of dark stories that we, yep. that we carry, uh, fear, anxiety, worry, stress, all these things. Or, and we change direction. We change Re story. Repent means yeah. return. Yeah, to come. Okay. Malachi says, return to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Return to Re me. Return to light, right? Jesus yep. is the light of the world. Return to come into light or come up into a bigger, more glorious story, a more kingdom th um, uh, alignment. And as we do, the darkness yep. is displaced. So we're seeing in this um, convergence of calendars a potency and awakening that looks like people awakening to Jesus and it also looks like them awakening to light and life and freedom, deliverance if you like, and healing. It's yeah. sozo, isn't it? It's the, the full picture of saved, healed exactly. and delivered. I feel like I've shortchanged Evan. He did ask me specifically about the two calendars yeah. and just quickly yeah. let's go back to 5780, be in the Hebraic year and 2020. All right, so 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus O equals 20. Right. 2020. 2020 vision. Um, 5, 7, yeah, right. 8. They're, they're, those numbers correlate together. Right. For some reason, the Hebraic calendar and the Gregorian calendar are speaking, a con a, are speaking the same message to us. Yeah, right. It, it's it's a prophetic message. We can we can understand the seasons we're in by signs. Signs are meant for us to wonder by signs mm, and mm, wonders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. So the the Gregorian calendar follows the sun. The he, um, the Hebrew calendar follows the moon. I think that's it. Yeah, that's right. Um, so. It is fascinating stuff. Look, anything to wake you up. If you need to imbibe of the um, of the calendar of this, I guess God's sacred calendar, and track with that. And, and a lot of Christians, a lot of <laughs> spirit-filled, charismatic Christians, prophetic Christians, are tracking with those calendars because it's allowing the same the same message to to awaken us to what has happened day of atonement christ yeah. you know 10 yeah. days of war looking deeply mm -hmm. into your own life mm -hmm. taking stock of your life wanting to go forward in this new year which has started now with a sense of intentionality unencumbered with the blessings upon you i think it's deuteronomy mm -hmm. 28 verse 2 and the blessings upon you chasing yeah. you down come Evan on, I really believe the blessings of God are going to come upon you it's Amen. all stored up in heaven yeah these blessings are stored up in heaven, but you just can't casually mm. uh, you know expect them to favor you 
Uh, one commentator said there's the speed of light, but there's the speed of favor. He says we're coming into where the plowman, uh, the reaper, mm. will overtake the plowman. Yeah, yeah. All that sowing you've done, Eben, Amen. the sowing of, oh, yeah. of your prayers, the, the giving of offerings, mm. the intentionality of being a father. Mm. I mean, you've been sowing hard. You feel like you haven't harvested. But the Bible says mm. that we're coming into a period where I believe it'll be like that scripture. It'll be like that scripture where it says, Whoo! Very exciting stuff. You're tuned in to No Expressions, folks, just in case you're tuning in. <laughs> Normally we have a song and a break, but this is just too deep. Yeah, we're, Amos we're 9.13. The Amos paradigm. And it talks about this. Um, ooh, Amos 9.13. Can someone look that up? Thank you, Craig. <laughs> and our guest this morning is Pastor Phil Oldfield. If you just turn it in as well. C3 Church, talk right. One commentator is saying we're coming into an Amos speed of favor, a divine place at which God sovereignly pours out his blessings upon us. I challenge you to blow the dust off Amos 13, take hold of it personally, and allow it to be activated in your life now. God is accelerating his work among his people in these last days, and it is by no accident that we are alive at this epoch in history. Mm. We were chosen to be life-giving generation with a life-changing and prophetic word to this world. Craig, can you help me with that Amos 9.13? Amos 9.13, here we go. So you call that the Amos paradigm? The Amos paradigm. It says this, The days are coming, declares the Lord, where the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the one treading grapes. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from the hills, and I will bring my people Israel back from exile. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, it's a, it's a great season. Now, that's got to land somewhere here on the Central Coast. Absolutely. Now, the season that we're in is is actually, it seems to me, that uh, mm -hmm. that the local church uh, expression, as beautiful and as glorious and diverse as it is, is um, is being moulded together with hearts that are, uh, are, are are being bound together, hearts that are being generously given to one another. Yeah, I mean, I, I just about every church that I'm in these days, the language like I've given my heart to you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I belong to you. You belong to me. The, you know, the oneness that's being discovered by individual com congregations finding themselves as part of the whole body of Christ. Yep. All of this is is this convergence that's happening that you've been talking to us about, and and in actual fact, yep. you know, this coming week uh, uh, on Monday mm. night, there's another convergence, if you like. It's again where the city church gathers together it's where the different denominations kind of leave the leave their uh their their dividing walls behind That's right. and, and come as the gathered ecclesia together we're coming to your place this this coming c3 Monday. tugra 127 gavin lock road in in tugra and yeah. it's a seven o'clock kickoff and it's where the broader body of christ will gather together again to declare and to decree this this idea of the you know we're announcing the kingdom we're announcing the governance of christ on the earth yep. um we're coming to worship him in awe and wonder we're going to come with repentance that the lord will, will lay on us we're going to come in announcing the kingdom uh and and declaring that for our region and for our nation but it's a very very potent time where all the streams come together, the Baptists, yep. the Salvos, the Pentecostals. It's the a kingdom initiative. And like like mm. David, with his tens of thousands of men, before he went yeah. out, yeah. he asked the tribe of Issachar. Yeah. They weren't a big tribe. 
they're a small tribe and we're not a big prayer group we sometimes mm. uh, have up to 200 but sometimes yeah. only a hundred yeah. but David asked this tribe of Issachar mm. what are we to do from Issachar men who understood the times and knew what Israel should do 1 Chronicles 12 32 and this is what this initiative is about. Yeah. It's a kingdom. That was a kingdom initiative. Yeah. David asking that tribe, hey, guys, we're tens of thousands here, but yeah. we're asking this small tribe, what should we do in the future? I'm, I'm reminded of, of that. Uh, isn't it funny? Religion only remembers what happens previously, mm. and they fight for what no longer matters. They draw huge lines in the sand but what used to be, but have no idea what God is about to do. Now, can I say, Craig, there is a tribal anointing. Come on. That's another thing they're yeah, saying. There's right. a tribal anointing. When we come together as the ministers, there's an anointing on that. When we come together in this prayer gathering yeah. this Monday night, yeah, yeah. there seemingly is a special dispensation yeah. of anointing that comes on that yeah. where our denominational values are just huh, they, they 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 hardly even matter because we're 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 in agreement through fellowship yeah through christ jesus Come on. this partnering with each other which is not you know fellowship in the bible is not just doing coffee with each other yeah it's actually partnering with each other through christ through the anointing and through the deeper issues of the kingdom, that's Amen. fellowship. Yeah. Wow. wow. You said Monday night, you said Tuesday. Which night is it? Ah, which night is it? Which Monday night. night. It's Monday, Monday night. night. Monday night. So it is Monday okay, night. I thought okay. it was. Monday night. Sorry. So can we come back? Because yep. we, we got like three minutes here. Can we, Monday night. So um, what's happening? Give us a rundown. Yeah, he eats. And is there child mining? Uh, facilities, by the way. I'll give Pastor Phil yeah, a think about yeah. that. They, well, not, they, really. not really. It's not, it's not that sort of event. Okay. Uh, look, we've had children turn up, and uh, but no, there's no children's um, program, yeah. program there. Look, it's, it's one hour, yeah. strictly one hour of intentionality, of agreeing together, having the mind of Christ to pray God's will for the region. Amen. Uh, and and yes. look, we're, we're praying great stuff. Uh, if you've never done it, we're praying things like praying for unity for Jesus in the church. Um, you know, excellent. That that John 17 prayer. We're praying for God's will within the church from Colossians 1, 9 to 13. And from that day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, three, we're, we're praying for the Holy Spirit to move in the church. Ephesians 1 uh, to 3, but Ephesians 1, 16 to 20. Um, and of course, we could be praying for fruitfulness for your church. 2 Thessalonians 1. To this end, we always pray for you mm -hmm. that our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good in every work of faith by his power so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. They're, 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 they're um, Pauline uh, uh, prayers, uh, kingly prayers, um, and, and l listen, um, I, I did say that decade. Have we just got one minute? I did say that decade. Yep. That decade is a, is, is a decade of the mouth. And, uh, and I just pray, Lord God, that, Lord, our words would be your words. Yeah, that right. as we pray, as we speak, that, Lord, let us be quickened in our hearts. Let our mouths be mm -hmm. aligned. Lord, let my mouth be aligned. May it be in alignment with you. Let heaven invade earth. My words are God's words. My heart is yeah, God's man, heart. Man. Let me be a good steward of my environment, my atmosphere, and my culture. Yeah, I agree. Let it be as it has been spoken to me in mm. Jesus' name, and the people of God say, yeah. amen. amen. So Great. about alignment and beginning to declare what God is saying to us, it's a decade. We're in a new decade, amen. folks, a amen. prophetic new decade of declaring and being a mouthpiece for God, yeah. being a witness. You know, yeah. uh, Acts 1.8 says, and you shall receive power... Yeah. To be my witnesses. That's it. That's it. Jerusalem, yep. Judea, Samaria, 
to the ends of the world, even the central coast Mm. of New South Wales, (laughs) Australia. You will, Mm. you shall, you can, you will be enabled by the power of the Spirit to be a witness through your marketplace, through your home. I'm speaking to fathers to be a witness Mm. to your children, to your wife. I'm speaking to uh, people of God to be a witness in their workplace, to be a witness in their marketplace, to be a witness in the streets, around the sports fields, to be a witness on the beach, to be a witness in the airports, to be a witness even on radio. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What's coming up? Round up, bud. Thank you, Pastor Phil from C3 Tugger. Tonight, you've got spare time tonight, Friday night, 7 p.m. Get over to the Impact Centre. Pastor Paul de Jong is speaking there. Uh, it's a regional ACC event at the Impact Centre. Paul de Jong, 7 p.m. at the Impact Centre tonight. Get there if you can. Uh, then there's Monday the 14th that Pastor Phil's just been talking about at C3 Tugra Prayer and Worship Night where we combine the gathering of the whole of the body of Christ on the Central Coast to pray and believe together for the, the governance of Christ here in our region. Mm. Uh, Wednesday 30, 23rd yes. of October, pastors and leaders gathering together for the One Heart Breakfast. That's an awesome event where, where we're gathering together and just enjoy fellowship together in that. The 30th of October is the Red Frogs launch at Liberty Family Church. That's a 6 p.m. launch. So you want to be part of that. That's speaking about declaring the will of God, the kingdom of God, the announcement of Christ in the region. That's another great vehicle to do that. So that's the 30th of October. And then there's the GLS that's almost on us now, November 1 and 2, um, Coast Community Church, Bensville hosting that. And then I think the week after, Larry Sparks is on the Central Coast. Oh, truly. Dave Balestri's bringing him over. He's going to be right here in the studios. You'll get to hear a global prophet. That'll be awesome just a few weeks away. So much good stuff happening. We'll see you next week, folks. You've been listening to an encore presentation of New Expressions, which can be heard live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. on 94.9 Rima Central coast.